In 2001, I met Jacob Jorgensen, who uh, have, you know, worked, helped me design the Multisources Edge platform, which even now, now applies to today for the 5G uh, platform. So that could be a you know, promising area. And it was such an incredible opportunity to work with such people. And I, to be quite honest, I equate uh, working with Nirmalaya at that level. You know, when I started, when I started listening to Nirmalaya, I started realizing, oh my God, this is exactly what I want. This is exactly the kind of experience that I cherish. But I want to just share some few things with the, with the larger group here because I'm obviously easy, easily the oldest guy in this group. And I've been doing this this work for, for more than actually for a longer period than um, I think even before you guys were born actually. <laughs> I started some this. Of them, some even, of them probably. Even, even, yeah, some of them, even before the internet was even there, right? Um, even before the internet was there, I, I, I've managed the, you know, the uh, strategy for uh, TimeNet, which is uh, one of the largest pub, private uh, networks in the United States. The access, high-speed access rollout strategy. In those days, high-speed access was 58 kbps. <laughs> okay, I mean, you, you need to understand the time scale that we're talking about, you know, uh, from those days, it was less than, you know, 19 kbps, 58 kbps, these 56 kbps were considered high speed. And today, uh, we, we can't even think of, you know, uh, access speeds of that, that slow. So that's where the world has come in the last 30 to 40 years. You also have to understand that when, when I started this business, I was working extensively with posted environments, okay? And the amount of pain, I think nobody cherishes, you know, doing a Unix upgrade right in the middle of, you know, production, dev prod, uh, handoff, when you have to, you know, applications stop working, client is screaming, in the middle of the night, you have to do a Unix upgrade from version X to version Y, and you have to get the application back up and running. I think this is something that everybody cherishes, right? But this is the kind of work that we have to do in hosted environments to keep things going. Um, and now as infrastructure engineers and as cloud solution architects, a lot of that complexity is taken away from you. Uh, you, can, you are now free to create and build solutions at a speed, at a velocity that is unthink was unthinkable. Uh, just to give you guys an example, I think you need to hear this, okay? So in 2005, when I landed in Delhi, um, take up the chief architect role for Bharti Airtel Transformation. Uh, Bharti Airtel was 13 different companies, okay? And I had the responsibility for integrating all 13 companies into a single web sphere integration infrastructure across the entire country. And we accomplished this in two years. But it took us about uh, the cost, at least IBM was compensated for this, for, up to the tune of $550 million to be, to be able to scale the infrastructure to support 256 million subscribers by 2030. That was the challenge that Sunil Mittal uh, gave us, right? We got the Prime Minister's award for it and all that. But what the point I want to make is that with that infrastructure, with that kind of a problem, it cost $550 million of an idea, you know, that will pay us to do it. Because of it, there's about a thousand people on the project to get that done. If today, if you ask us to do the same thing, I can get it done under $20 million with about 50 people. That is the impact that cloud computing has. Most people are not aware, you know, the skills that we build and the kind of transformation this can happen, this can have this for India, forget about the United States, the kind of impact it can have for India is just out of this world if we execute correctly. And the thing is that that kind of complexity is now possible at one tenth the budget. And it can, and what took us two years, three, two and a half, three years to build can be done in six months. This is not trivial. You know, I just wanted to mention this to you because. I went through this and I, I, I saw the benefit. Once I started taking this 
because i didn't understand before i started uh, this pgpcc program one year ago i didn't understand amazon i didn't understand how google cloud and azure and amazon why they were so popular why they were uh, drawing the kind of uh, revenues and the volumes that they were drawing because because at ibm cloud because i attracted my ibm in 2019 and then i joined this program when i when i retired from ibm ibm cloud was kind of a failure you know i mean we tried different things and uh, we acquired softlayer and uh, we were trying to move some workloads to cloud but we failed we could not we could not achieve the kind of success that amazon did or azure did or even google did right we were easily number 4 or 5 in the market and i saw that i saw that whole um, decline happening in ibm's revenue i saw the uh, emphasis that we were trying to make in uh, you know analytics cloud um, things like that but we were not succeeding right it's only after i took this program that i understood why ibm was failing and now i'm trying to educate ibm on you know i guess i think ibm has finally got it so now i understand the focus on hybrid and why hybrid is important and so most of you guys if you're looking at Uh, moving into hybrid cloud, I can talk you through some really interesting use cases on this. I can do some serious mentoring uh, to the future of PGPCC teams on what are the areas to focus, what are the strengths, what are the capabilities that you need to develop in order to be able to function in this new uh, new world that we have coming up over the next three to five years. And to that end, let me say that. Um, I mean, what Nirmala has taught, and I have, I have had the privilege. I mean, I, it was very humbling to me. I have had the privilege of working with some of the smartest minds in the industry over the past thirty or forty years. You could say it's luck. You know, it's pure luck. I mean, running into people like you know James Gosling, who uh, was the creator of Java, working with him on the server side implementation of uh, servlet uh, architecture, when he was doing uh, client side. Uh, Uh, Java implementation. Uh, those are all memorable, uh, you know, ex- experiences that I can I always cherish. Right. And then in 2001, I met uh, Dr. Jo- Dick, Jacob Jorgensen, who uh, have, you know worked helped me design the Multi-Services Edge platform, which even now now applies to today for the 5G uh, platform. So that could be a you know promising area, and it was such an incredible opportunity to work with such people. And I. To be quite honest, I equate uh, working with Nirmala at that level. You know, when I started, when I started listening to Nirmala, I started realizing, oh my God, this is exactly what I want. This is exactly the kind of experience that I cherish. And so I want to thank Nirmala for, you know, for for delivering this capability in a 10-month program. I I look forward to actually helping improve it if I can. Um, I have a lot of experience. Hopefully, some of that can. Uh, you know, uh, move into this course. Uh, you know, uh, hopefully, I won't die before it. 